The Battle of Camelodunum, also known as the Massacre of the Ninth Legion, was the major military victory of the Iceni and their allies over an organized Roman army during the revolt of Boadicea against the Roman occupation of Britain. A large vexillation of the Legio IX Hispona were destroyed by the rebels. While attempting to relieve the besieged Colonia of Camelodunum, legionaries of the Legio IX Hispona led by Quintus Petilius Serialis, were attacked by a horde of British tribes, led by the Iceni. Possibly 80% of the Roman foot soldiers were killed in the battle. The event is recorded by the historian Tacitus in his Annals. Chapter 1 Background. In AD 60 or 61, the southeastern area of the island rose in revolt under Boadicea, while the Roman governor, Gaius Suetonius Paulinus, was campaigning in Wales. The Iceni were joined by the Trinovants, and their first target was Camelodunum, formerly the Trinovantian capital, now a colonial settlement of discharged Roman soldiers. Tacitus reports it was poorly defended, and archaeology confirms its former military fortifications had been levelled by this time. The colonists appealed for aid to the procurator, Catus Decianus, who sent only 200 auxiliaries. Camelodunum was burned, and the temple, where the last of the defenders took refuge, fell after a two-day siege. The defenders were massacred. Chapter 2 Battle The Ninth Legion, commanded by Quintus Petilius Serialis, attempted to relieve the siege. It is unlikely that the entire legionary strength of some 5,000 men was involved in the battle. Detachments of the legion were spread out across a network of small forts, on short notice, Serialis was likely able to call on only the first cohort, possibly two others, auxiliary infantry, and a unit of some 500 cavalry, a total of perhaps 2,500 men. Serialis set out from his base in Lindum Colonia. From Lindum, it was a distance of at least 110 miles. They may have taken the Roman road to Camelodunum from Dura Victum, a march of some 75 miles which would have taken three days. However, they arrived too late to relieve the Colonia. The British tribes had gathered a considerable force by the time Serialis and the 9th approached Camelodunum. They overwhelmed the detachment in the field and defeated it, routing the Romans. Tacitus says their entire infantry strength was wiped out, with only Serialis and his cavalry able to retreat to their fortified camp. According to George Patrick Welch, in the initial contact and later rearguard actions he lost about 2,000 men, or one-third of his infantry strength. Despite the significance of the event, the battle is not recorded in any large detail. The location of the battle is claimed by both the village of Great Ratting, in Suffolk and Sturmer in Essex some three miles away. Chapter 3 Aftermath The survivors of the battle remained in the fort near Camelodunum under Serialis until they met up with Suetonius Paulinus after the latter's final victory at the Battle of Watling Street. Serialis was recalled to Rome. The legion was later reinforced with legionaries, from the Germania provinces. Serialis returned as governor of Britain in 71, and took command of the 9th once more in campaigns against the Brigantes. Around AD 71 they constructed a new fortress at York, as shown by finds of tile stamps from the site. The 9th Legion disappears from Roman records after 108, a fact that has led to much speculation.